Well, I mean, they have some of the most amazing structures human beings have ever created. Yeah. I have many friends that have gone there and said it changed the way they look at the world. It changed the way they look at humans. Really? Yeah, because you just like, you think of people, who knows how many thousands of years ago, 4,500 plus years ago, who mm -hmm. created these things. Like, what was life like back then? What did they do? How did they do this? How did they get these stones from hundreds of miles away and perfectly cut them and make these insane structures? Mm hmm what would you want to get out of a trip? Just want to see it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was baffled by Chichen Itza. I went to uh, see the Mayan ruins at mm -hmm. Chichen Itza, and just that alone, you're like, holy shit. Like, what were you guys doing? Like, how did you do this? Like, yeah. what, was, what was the culture like back then? And what happened? And yeah. now what they think happened is European diseases that just wiped out the Mayans because we know that it, it also wiped out 90% of all North American uh, people yeah. when they came over here, just smallpox. I, 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 it's a great reason to go. Um, it gives you perspective on humanity and it's just this, I think, Gra is it Graham Hancock? Yes. I think one of the big takeaways from his message is that there's a certain arrogance to modern man and, mm -hmm. and no one could be smarter than we are right now. Right. And it's just simply not true. Well, you know the whole th theory behind what he's promoting? It's it's actually based on this thing called the Younger Dryas Impact Theory. And this has been substantiated by science that somewhere around 11,000 plus years ago, Earth was hit by comet debris. Mm -hmm. And this is substantiated by levels of iridium that is very common in space but very rare on Earth, a, a sheet of it across the world at, a, at that certain time period when they do core samples of the Earth. and nano diamonds that also indicate impacts that are all throughout Europe, um, the, the immediate uh, melting of the polar ice caps, the, or the uh, ice caps rather on North America, and the, the, all the ensuing destruction that came from that, the extinction of 65% of all megafauna mm -hmm. almost instantaneously. It's really, really fascinating stuff. But what he believes is that there was a massive natural catastrophe due to Earth getting hit. And this is all backed up by legitimate researchers and scientists and a man named Randall Carlson, who's absolutely fantastic and really fascinating, in-depth understanding of this impact theory. And that human beings were essentially knocked back into the Stone Age. Right. So does he think we would have gotten to the Industrial Age that much sooner if that wouldn't have happened? They don't know what they were doing back then. That's mm -hmm. what's interesting because right. like everything was wiped out to the point where all we have left is these immense stone structures, which we have no understanding of the construction methods at all to this day. Right. There's some half-assed theories of how they did it and no one really knows. There's 2,300,000 stones in the Great Pyramid of Giza mm -hmm. and some of them, again, were cut from a quarry that was 500 miles away and they don't know how the fuck they did that. It'll be interesting if you go, if you get the right guide, and I can recommend a guy. There's one guy I really liked yeah. later on. But um, everyone's going to have an answer for you. And it, it's interesting. They don't know, though. The thing is, like, I've heard all the answers. Oh, sure. I've, I've heard everything. I've, I've been reading such... about this for years and years and years. They really don't know. Hmm. And that's what's amazing about it. What's amazing is you have evidence that human beings who lived in Egypt – Thousands and thousands of, thousands and thousands of years ago did things that we really can't do today We really don't have the equipment. We really don't have the understanding I mean if you're off by a little bit with each individual stone by the time you get to the top It doesn't meet upright right and they just nailed it They nailed it to the point where they have these immense stones. You can't even get a razor blade in between them mm -hmm. I mean incredible construction back when people had just come out of hunter and gathering I mean, it was like 5,000 plus years ago they were doing this. Like, yeah. how? Right. How long did it take? Who was in charge? How'd you figure it out? They, they don't know. They really don't know. And then due to the, the burning of the Library of Alexandria, there's like so much missing information in history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what... <clears throat> it, maybe it'll seem unrelated, but this idea like, oh, if we ever meet aliens or see alien technology... Will we be able to figure it out or understand it? It's like there's so much we don't understand about what's already here right yeah. now. Yeah. I think human beings used to have a very, very advanced civilization. Mm -hmm. I think we, um, and I, when I say we, humans that were living in Africa 5,000 plus years ago, 10,000 years ago, whatever it was, they had an incredibly advanced civilization. And that they, you know, if you think of how long modern anatomical human beings existed, 
they used to think we went back like 50,000 years and then they pushed that to like 150 and now some believe it's 300,000 even more. Mm -hmm. That's people that look essentially like you and I. If you gave those people time, if you look at like go back from the Romans, go back 2,000 years ago to today, what an insane amount of progress has taken place in 2,000 years. In 2,000 years, they've gone from slaughtering people with swords and bows and arrows and catapults to making incredible videos like you made with a fucking iPhone. A right. little tiny thing that slides into your pocket easily. You, you could travel around the world in metal tubes that fly through the air. You can send video from your phone all the way to United States within seconds. I mean, it's amazing just in 2,000 years. Right. So if these anatomical human beings existed 200,000 years ago and they had enough time and enough agriculture and enough food and resources to develop incredibly complex, really advanced technology that's dissimilar from the advanced technology that we have today. Mm -hmm. We like to think of advanced technology as only involving <laughs> internal combustion engines and silicone chips and but what if they developed something on a totally different path mm -hmm. just developed it to this d level that we can't possibly comprehend what if they had 10 20,000 years to do that that's likely what we're looking at when we look at the structures in Egypt we're likely looking at what at one point in time look we know all human beings came from Africa that's the the birthplace of humanity itself and then the most complex structures that have ever been created also are in Africa. So if you would imagine that those people had been given enough time, whether it's 20,000, 30,000 years, to evolve these technologies, mm -hmm. and then boom, hit by giant rocks from the sky and millions of people are killed. The people that are left live a barbaric existence for thousands of years and then relearn civilization and it right. starts from scratch. That's what Graham Hancock is talking about. Yeah.